In today's video, I jump out of a window. Well, I'm on the second floor. <gasps> I also look at some poo. All right, is that poo? Oh, that's poo. And then I take a look at a boat. All right, look at that shipwreck. It's gorgeous. Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything I don't say too serious. I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How is it going everybody? Today we are back in Scum and the plan for today in Scum was to head back to the radiated city. We were over there the last time we played and we locked up an apartment. We also got radiation poisoning the last time we played. But today I was planning on actually wearing the full hazmat suit that we found not too long ago and protect ourselves from the radiation. But as per usual, my plan didn't quite work out. Let me quickly explain. The chest that we buried not too long ago was gone, so I needed to make another one because if we wear the hazmat suit, we are going to drop a bunch of our gear, vest, pants, shirts, uh, so I needed to stash them and bury them somewhere in the woods. And as I was crafting a chest, I heard some animal noises in the woods and as I was in need of some food, I decided to try and hunt it down, which was not the best of ideas. Uh, which way? Oh, oh this way. I'm coming, I'm coming. So the plan was to go over to the radiation zone, but I I buried the chest here and it may have despawned because I forgot about it. <laughs> so now we're gonna have to make another chest, bury our clothes and then put on the suit and go to the, to the town. But if we are to go over there, we're gonna have to get some food as well. Where'd this monstrosity go? It's not making any more noises. I don't see any tracks either. Did I lose it? Just gonna eat some worms. If I can find it. Where did it go? Oh, 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 oh. I see it. Alright, is that poo? Oh, that's poo. Fresh poo. Animal went south. Alright, still going south. Oh, it's getting kind of hazy. Oh, no, no, no. Is that behind me? Oh, this may not be ideal. Oh yeah, radiation presence. We got radiation presence already. Oh my goodness. I look how far I am from the play. Oh no, we're screwed. This is bad, this is bad. I don't wanna have radiation poisoning again. Oh no, no. Water, water, water. Drink a lot of water, take a lot of wheeze. Eliminate the radiation. Just drink this entire canteen. We'll, we'll get some more from the... From the river here. Yes, I walked in the radiation as I was trying to find that animal. So I drank a lot of water, peed a lot to try and get rid of the radiation from my system. I also swimmed in the hopes that the radiation from my clothes would be cleaned off. But it wasn't, so I had to actually wash them with soap. I didn't have any soap, so I ran all the way to the outpost, I bought some soap, washed all of my clothes and managed to get the radiation presence in the recovery phase. Unfortunately, it was a bit too late. Alright, so things haven't gone well. <laughs> At all. Uh, we're not gonna make it. I have gone up to Ars C4. My god, that was so stupid. So very stupid of me. Can I make it to the boathouse? I hope so. I didn't think the radiation spread that much. Because we were so far away from the town. There's a bridge and then there's the town. Now it's in the woods. So I thought that we still had a bit of space to work with. But we didn't. And here we are. There we go. Well... That didn't go so well, but hopefully we're gonna be able to recover our things. Like, I've managed to get the radiation presence in the recovery state, but the RS4 or RC4 is already, look at this, all the way up almost, so we're not gonna make it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. Fortunately, though, I spawned right by the dam, so I ran back to that small boathouse and recovered my gear. And after that, I decided to put a pin in my radiation adventures because clearly, me and radiation don't get along at all. So I decided to make my way south instead. 
All right, so we are down in C3, making my way to B3. I'm stopping by Zagoja here because I do not have any food. Remember this morning we started... Can I just eat the ketchup? We started our day by looking for some uh, for some food and then we got radiation poisoning. I haven't found any food since then. I did eat a bunch of worms and stuff, but actual food... Nope. And I forgot to buy some at the outpost as well. So here we are. Oh, there's a bunch of food here. Coffee and raisins. Coffee is very good because it is going to help with our performance score. Even if we don't brew it, we can eat it out of the bag. And it's still going to give us the, the boost. So check it out. Coffee. Here's our performance score right now, it's at 57. But if we eat this... Check it out, boost of energy. Very nice. I thought that was loot right there. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I'm on the second floor! <gasps> I'm fine. <laughs> Oh, that could have, that could have been bad right there. That could have been very, very bad. The server started acting up a bit and he teleported me from outside of the building to the second floor of the building and then I jumped out the window by mistake. Luckily, I didn't break my kneecaps. But after that, I hit up a few other spots like the boot camp and after filling up my pockets, I went to the B4 outpost and sold a bunch of things. And afterwards, the plan was to make a chest bury my gear and then swim over to this island which had a really cool shipwreck. Luckily I had a bunch of nails on me that I found around the towns. So I made the chest, I put a bunch of the gear in the chest, I also locked it, buried it and then I started making my way towards the island. Alright, look at that shipwreck, it's gorgeous. That is where we are going to swim. Uh, this may or may not go well, I have... 11 kilos on me, so we should be alright when it comes to swimming. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, here we are almost at the shipwreck. Not too far now. So, so far I haven't been attacked by any sea creatures. And hopefully it will remain that way. Come on, we're almost there, almost there. Actually, in the shipwreck we have loot as well. Which we can hopefully, or maybe we, maybe not, because then I'm gonna sink if I get a lot of loot. Ooh. All right, here we are on the shipwreck. Unfortunately, none of these doors open up, but down below, I'll show you in a quick second. There is a room, and inside the room we have some loot. If we go through here, also if you if 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 we please or if we want. We can actually minecraft a chest here and have a stash on the boat. So here we have a, uh, this thing, uh, uh, a desk that we can search. But down here, even deeper within the shipwreck, we're gonna... Hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, don't worry. Ah, check it out. And it actually has... A new MP magazine, 1.6% and 12 gauge, 1.6% <laughs> It's not very good, but hey, there's loot here and it's not locked either Oh, is it? Is, oh, 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 oh Is it, is it, is it There we go And that's about it for the shipwreck It is pretty big, but it doesn't have a lot of open rooms Besides this one and down there, I don't think we can go in any other rooms in here right we can walk around here but upstairs there are a lot of doors but none of them are actually opened up but it's a really it's a really cool place i like it i like it a lot but now we're gonna go over to the island because there are a few cool things there as well uh, the water is not all that deep here hopefully i'm not gonna break my legs uh, which is easy does is does there we go and there we go. We're fine, we're fine. 
Can I salute my god in my hands? I can. What the what? Come on, this is not that deep. We can walk. There we go. And over on the island, we have a bunker. World War II bunker. We also have a pretty interesting cave. If I remember right, there's a cave here as well that we can search. The thing is, I didn't bring a lot of supplies, but we're not too far away from, um, I guess, from the main island over there, so we can swim back if we need food or water. I have a... I didn't bring my canteen, did I? Uh, no, I didn't. I did not bring the canteen. Absolute... Oh, my goodness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I forgot to bring the canteen. There are a bunch of zombies around here. We can eat this uh, aloe vera for a little bit of hydration. Unfortunately, I don't think there is any drinkable water on the island because it's salt water, right? We cannot drink that without getting sick. We can drink it, but we're gonna puke. So we're gonna eat some of these cactus. We're gonna eat some of this aloe vera whilst we're here. And hopefully that's gonna hold us over for a little bit of time. All right, there is the bunker. We're gonna take a quick look around. My voice is going for some reason. <laughs> my apologies. My voice is uh is cracking for some reason. It's not even that late in the day and my voice is already done. But here we have the World War II bunker. And next to the bunker we're gonna have a cave as well. There is water in the cave but I don't think it's drinkable. Uh, unfortunately there's no boat here. I was hoping for a boat around here somewhere. I did come here in single player once and there was a boat right here. But no shot on multiplayer. Alright, so up here we have the bunker. Hopefully we'll find a, a water a water bottle here. Because I didn't bring my canteen like a stupid... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. I, I do the stupidest things. Shotgun shells. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up anything, right? Because we, if we get too heavy, we're not gonna be able to swim back. And if I don't have a boat, I mean, it's gonna be such a pain going back and forth between the island and the, the mainland, I guess. It would be a great place just to live here. Can we live here? You guys think we can survive here without any gear, so... You're dropped here on this small island. No gear, no nothing. There is food. So food spawns here. But the thing is, without the aloe vera and the cactus, there's no drinkable water. So I think... Uh, poo. More poo. So I think water is going to be the biggest issue here. We should try and survive here and see if we can actually make it one day. Spend like 24 hours or something. I think as long as we take it easy, we can we can probably make it, right? Right, so that's the bunker. Also, I think there's a big cannon here. Have we taken a look at that? Yeah, right here. Check it out. More poo. Why, do, why did everybody poo around here? So much poo. Not a lot of loot, but we did find food. There is also a nice cave right next to the bunker that we can explore. I was really hoping for a boat and a small dock or pier. I saw one there in single player but no luck on the server. I ran around the entire island on the on the shoreline just to see if a boat was around there but no luck unfortunately. But there we have it. That is about it for Scum today. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.